Hello, my name is William James, I'm the host of The Bald Book Geek, and let's talk about The Acolyte again. This is a bonus video, hi, all of my info's links are in the description, and if you want exclusive content and early access, consider joining my Patreon or becoming a channel member. Let's start the show. <laughs> Stands of the recently cancelled Star Wars The Acolyte have decided to go on an anti-YouTuber rant. And ironically, you know, the, the evil fandom menace who haven't existed for a long time, and all of this stuff. Calling these channels ists and phobes just for not liking the show, and manipulating the TSO of YouTube to get people to mass flag and mass report this content in an attempt to get the videos removed, although they did change their mind in an attempt to get them, you know, apparently just demonetized. No, it wasn't. Don't go back on what you said originally. There was a whole manifesto and none of these people deserve airspace. So I'm going to lay it out, bluntly, on why the Acolyte was cancelled. Viewership. Simple. No one watched it, it did not meet expectations, and at the end of the day, it's not about art or creativity, it's about money. If you create a product that is not making money, the product gets discontinued. So was the Acolyte is that. One of these people was like, it's time for you to be part of the solution at Team YouTube, while you continue to allow these channels to be monetized, as they are inciting hatred and ism. And it was all, you know it's all backdoor stuff. But yeah, it's a commercial decision. That's it. It's a commercial corporation that wants to make money. The Acolyte failed. The actress made a fallout for herself on the internet and was told by Disney to stop. That didn't bode very well. Let's be honest at this point. You know, there's only so many stupid celebrities we can deal with before we crack. And that's being really honest. So, that's all it is. It was no one got it cancelled, no one's blaming it other than the viewership. No one watched it. No one cared enough about it to watch this god-awful show. And, ultimately, that was the decision. They tried to do this previously in like 2017 or something to get YouTubers cancelled and videos demonetized and you know it's all backdoor conversation. You, you know what it is, it's backdoor conversation. These people, that's all they're doing. That, that's all it is, it's Discord, it's servers, it's all of this and we all use Discord, let's be real. But it's all backdoor conversation in the dark, behind closed doors, and it's all calculated and it's all performative. They're just angry that no one liked their precious show, and the people that were receiving gift boxes from Disney slash Lucas, Arts Lucas Film, whatever it's called, are just crying foul because suddenly they're not going to have the livelihood that they did making content, good content about it. The thing is, they are breaking TSO. And ultimately, it's not the best look for these people, really, is it? And what happens is, as someone who will say this, is that it just becomes this endless circle jerk of virtue signaling by a group of people that can't tell me what they actually like and can't really have an honest opinion about it. That's the reason. It was cancelled because no one watched it. And this has been reported many times, but, I mean, you've got certain personalities involved on the other side of the fandom who, let's put it this way, anyone who doesn't like Disney Star Wars is apparently alt-right, which is far from the truth. Just going by people I know in my circle of friends, it's not true. <laughs> And it's a misnomer. Things failed because they failed. No one watched it. And at the end of the day, if you didn't watch the show, or you waited to binge watch at the end, that's a problem. 
TV shows get cancelled, and anyone comparing this to classics such as Buffy the Vampire Slayer and even Friends, the circumstances behind those shows were very different. It was a different era of television. It was a different era of TV, it was a different era of how it worked, and there was no streaming. Things could be re-shown in hopes they would get another audience. You tuned in once a week. You might get a repeat later on. Or they'll should re-show something over the summer to fill a gap. Or the TV show will get renewed for a second season because the views are okay, and they're just trying to fill a gap because they've got nothing else there. And it will find its audience. That doesn't happen anymore. This was an expensive show and lost Disney a lot of money. It was cancelled purely as a financial decision by a corporation that doesn't care about art, creativity, or anything like that. They just care about what's losing the money, what's making the money. Disney Star Wars as a whole is yet to pay, make back the money that Disney paid for the IP. It's not rocket science. And, you know, it's just... Honestly, I'm kind of over-activist pretending to be actors, but I'm also kind of over certain people who creeped on a Twitter friend's daughter. <sighs> Seriously. Under very underage daughter. Um, I mean, this is the thing. Anyone who doesn't like it, whether, you know, they cry ist and phobe and ism, it was just, honestly, just a cringy mouthpiece. It was nothing more. And they were hoping to capitalise and capture this activist audience that don't really engage in shows is ridiculous. And apparently not liking a show makes you an historophobe. It's just absurd. It's absurd and it's frustrating because, you know, the myth of the modern audience. There's more than one race and gender that didn't watch The Acolyte. There is more than, like, the whole situation is just there. So, and I'm going to put this, and this is a comment actually on Clownfish uh, TV's channel. What This really icks me. YouTube's DMCA takedown policy is not a toy. Speaking as someone who has had one of his articles taken down because of broken policies and a complete bleep bleep, it's not some magic wand you can wave when you are feeling hurt. There is a specific reason and this is not that reason. Simple. That's all it is. Trying to abuse the system, trying to abuse copyright, trying to deal with all of this stuff. It's just ridiculous and these people who are crying on the internet that their favorite show has been cancelled cry harder darling. Like it's TV shows get cancelled all the time, and this is the thing. The only reason they're crying about it is that they got money to promote it, most of them. Without naming names, but one, like I said, and I'm going to reiterate this point, uh, first initial K, last initial K, creeped on a friend's daughter on the internet, and it was weird. So that's all I'm going to say on that subject. I'm not saying this person is or isn't, but that's weird. And this whole thing that if you don't like something, therefore you're all right, is a complete joke. At the end of the day, it's a commercial corporation, a commercial decision, and everything Disney have been trying to do in recent months has been about making and maximizing profit. It's not about art. It's not about anything like that. It's just money. They burnt money on this series, and they can't recoup it. Merchandising didn't sell and the viewership wasn't high enough for people to be interested in it. The show was not very good and ultimately that's the entire thing. It's not some alt-right conspiracy, it's not YouTubers, it's not the bigot nation, it's just a commercial decision by a corporation. So I'm going to leave this here, get over yourselves, touch grass and have a wonderful day and realise how companies work. Bye.